Hello, it's another weekly vlog time. Ooh. I had to say thank you so much for all the love on my last video. I was thinking like, oh, would people like this stuff? It's kind of random stuff, but you guys seem to really, really enjoy it. So I'm back with another vlog. We are going to be doing our weekly food shop. Super random, but I actually love doing food shopping. My sister's also going to come over today and she's going to clean the room. We might do a little Q&A segment as well. So stay tuned. <laughs> right, so your girl needs some shower gel and I'm on the hunt for my favorite kind and i like the cheapest one that you can get guys where is it oh i actually tried this one this actually smelled really good the only thing about this is that when you squeeze it it's really hard to get out because it's quite thick but it was really good highly recommend it's on sale at the moment tesco's i like my pam olive one but i like the purple one it's not here strawberries oh this one looks good another one of my favorite aisles is the ice lolly section and look what i just found oh how cool does this look it's slush puppies strawberry it is it's easter soon guys have you got your easter egg yet me and guy used to buy easter eggs all the time for each other and these are my favorite ones the giant kinder surprise ones so good but they're like five pounds so expensive with just chocolate you know can you guys hear Grant calling me me and Grant have this thing of that like, he whistles whenever he's like trying to find me but i can't whistle so i can't call him so i had to wait around for the damn whistle <laughs> to find out where he is it's like calling a birdie i'm like hello right here yeah, we're in asda now and i'm trying to find the good good stuff oh there she is my favorite i'm gonna get like three bottles this time so we're doing this new thing now every time we go to asda you scan and go and we literally bag it up and then just pay for it at the end and you just walk out it's so much better there's like no queues highly recommend go on technology yeah look who just came home Yay! My sister! So do you want to tell the reason why Breeze is now living with me? Twee is actually officially new doggy mummy now. Guys, it was such sad news yesterday. I was literally thinking about it, thinking about it all freaking night long. I couldn't sleep. And basically, <laughs> my freaking family did not want the dog. Yeah. <laughs> and they were going to put him in a dog shelter. And I was like to my mum, you better take him! She was like retaliating. She was like, no, 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 no. I said, you're not taking him. I'm no longer talking to you <laughs> so dramatic <laughs> and then next thing you know well i woke up at 4 a.m i've seen all these texts on my phone over 30 messages and kabam bruisers at my mom's house i'm like mm, who did this <laughs> it worked it worked guys bruiser you're now gonna retire and live an amazing life here right he's gonna be put down guys i know who would want this, this old wrinkly dog look at his teeth like his tongue <laughs> So yes, sir, I knew Fantastic Services was coming and I was like, oh my god, this room looks like a shit show But I want them to wipe all the floor and everything They mainly come to clean everything, not really to tidy, which is what my sister does So I was like, while they're here, I need to like sweep everything, take everything off the floor And instead I shoved it all in this box here Backdrops that need to come down and that's my sister's job to fold all that stuff. But they actually came and they wiped everything down, wiped all the mirrors, wiped my chair, wiped my makeup table. It was great. So highly recommend Fantastic Services. I'll leave the links down below if you guys are interested in monthly or weekly cleaners. They literally cleaned everything. They even wiped the damn ceiling. Like what? So, so good. What are you filming my behind for? Girl, show off that BBL. <laughs> oh, is that how you do it in a club? <laughs> It's not so bad, you know. I thought it was worse. When I freaking saw it on your freaking uh, phone, I was like, oh my God. I don't know how she does it, guys. Like, normally, pick things up, put it back in the same spot. She said she's got a destination for everything. And yet, the destination's the floor. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. So, we literally just finished filming a little mukbang. Woo! We've done a little Q&A session. And <laughs> we had some fruit. It was very <laughs> juicy. But I did ask on my Instagram stories, did you guys want to see a proper video? Or did you guys want to see a vlog version? And it was literally, like, nearly 50 so I'm gonna do a bit of both so anyone that's watching this you get an extra bonus round Ooh. and you guys get some extra questions so my sister's gonna just clean up the room and I'm just gonna like you know go around and ask her a few questions and then answer some myself as well so it's like you know get to know us a bit more would you ever consider doing YouTube or anything like that you know what it's crossed my mind I get so many people telling me that I should do it and I love the thought of it yeah, bitch, it's too busy, too yeah. tired. I think it's really time consuming. And you think it's so easy, but it takes so much time and effort. It's just a lot of responsibility. Girl has a full time job and then doing this as well. You literally do it like 24 7. Yeah. It's on her mind all the time. And like, I can barely function like living my daily life. <laughs> Can't remember to Snapchat sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's a no for now. But she will definitely do more appearances on here if you guys like yeah. her. Yeah. Okay, make sure you give a thumbs up and say, bring Hong back. <laughs> <laughs> if 
I could change anything about my career, what would it be? One thing I could change about my career is I wish I would have started it sooner. I felt like I put off doing any of the social media because I was so scared of what other people thought and I was like, I don't have what it takes. No one wants to listen to me. I'm so boring and I was really that harsh on myself. Especially with YouTube, I feel like I kind of started when YouTube was dying down a little bit. The algorithm changed. The AdSense is not even there anymore. You hardly make any money from it. So I wish I would have started a little bit sooner and I felt like I would have got the hang of it a bit more. Is there anything that you would change about your career? I feel that I don't know how I landed in this career that I've found myself in. I wish I went in the banking industry because that's where all the mullah is, you yeah. know? That's one thing that I wish I'd done years ago, but now I'm stuck in the trade that I'm <laughs> stuck in now. So I work in data and finance. I deal with data and statistics, so it's very boring. Yeah, so but really hey, boring. it pays the bills. The girl yeah. can be independent. No man needed here. <laughs> yeah. Is there ever any jealousy between you two? <laughs> <laughs> oh, She's wow. trying to get out to spill the tea. You guys want us to fight? I don't feel jealous. Yeah. Like when it comes to friends, family, anyone, I don't feel jealous. Yeah. When someone is doing well, I'm like rooting for them. I'm like, go get it. Yeah. I don't I'm understand why people. Exactly the same. I don't get jealous over anything. Like you know, a lot of people when I talk to them, they're like, oh, why can't I be doing that? Or why can't that be me? I never think like that yeah. at all, really. I'm just mm-hmm. like, yes, you go, go. If I see them do it, it inspires me to be like that and become yeah. more like that. Exactly. So we always see things like, oh, they can do it. We can do it as well. Yeah. So if anything, we see that as motivation, but we never really get jealous or we never wish that, oh, I could be doing that instead. If anything, I'll be like, oh, I can do that too then. Like, oh, that worked. Oh my God, amazing. Mm-hmm. So maybe I should do something similar like that. We never think like, oh, why the hell did they get it for? Yeah. We never ever think like that. I think everything is down to consistency. You put a lot of effort in and the... It will come. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm going to ask you this question because I can't really talk about it. But do you think university is important because you went to university? Do you know what? I felt that I'm glad that I went to university because I feel like I got that chapter out of my life mm. and it's something that I don't regret. But now I feel that back in the day it was considered as you need university to be able to progress in your career. But I think the learning side of things of what you learnt from going through uni is basically sustainability and your drive to commit to doing a project and completing that project from beginning to end and I think that's what you learn from university so I don't think it's necessary that you need to go to uni but if you are very driven by a certain role that you want to do so like a doctor lawyer dentist then you definitely need to go through university for that but if you want to be just like an administrator <laughs> yeah. no because now i feel that the way forward is going through apprenticeship and i feel that you get the learning experience from that and you also gain so much experience and knowledge from that side of things and doing the practical and the theory side of it so i feel that, that is very beneficial we get in a lot of apprentices in our workplace and i feel it's really beneficial for them yeah it's good so i never actually went to university i done something called a hnd in makeup but i literally only done it because i felt pressure from maybe my family or society that I needed to do something with my life. I couldn't go straight into work when I was like 18. I felt like I needed to go and study something. Especially because my sister got a first at uni in business. So I was like, oh, the pressure, bitch. But I done a HND, which is just slightly under a full degree. And if I would have done one extra year, I could have got a full degree from it. I feel like when my sister was going to university, it was only like, 3,000 a year or like 2,000 and then you can also get support as well uh, from the government but nowadays university is like nine grand a year it is so expensive yeah it's like literally the same as nearly as international rates yeah and it's so expensive and by the time you finish uni the debt that you've accumulated is extortionate you've got to be working your whole lifetime before you finish some people leave and they're in like 60,000 pounds worth of debt you know what you know how long it took me to pay off a freaking 10,000 pound debt that I got from freaking uni and now people are coming out with like 60 grand do you know what yeah. I will get anxiety attack just thinking about that yeah we can also maybe do a segment about finances and stuff even though we're not the smartest when it comes to finances but I feel like we've experienced a lot and mm-hmm. we have quite different styles of finances yeah. as well so maybe we could do a little segment on mm-hmm. that let us know what kind of topics you guys want to see in like future Q&A's yes what do you think about drugs oh no don't do it I'm like a split or two won't hurt <laughs> Don't do it, guys. Don't, don't be influenced don't do by it. One moment's decision can ruin your whole entire yeah. life. One pill know? gone wrong, it could be... <laughs> okay, guys, so my sister's going to do a little tutorial on my head. She done these waves the other day on her Insta stories. I was like, oh, they look cute. So she influenced me to go to Primark and I bought these little rolly things for £1.50. 
they're bendable and basically you don't need any sort of like hair grip or anything to keep them in place so it's really easy and you get you need to get the big chunky one because i get loads of questions about what size to get you need to get the biggest size possible yeah so this is how to get heatless waves and you do this overnight so what i normally do is i need to spray some detangler in your hair or something just a tad bit wet so that it holds the wave we've got some towel and mine <laughs> Towel and <laughs> main and towel. Okay, but you want your hair to start damp. Not too damp though, guys. So around about like 80 to 90% damp. And you need to put the hair up, standing up straight like this, because you want volume. And then you just twirl it in your hair. And then you just literally roll it all the way down. You need to flip this bit, go down like that. So you curl it so it goes back, and then these two things flick at the front like that. So when you take it out, this bit will be flat and then it'll go wave. Okay, so with a little flick. So you need to ensure you roll it back. Okay, so let me do the other side. Bring it up, twirl the hair so it goes back. And then you keep on twirling and then flip it so it goes like this. And then that's it. And then you can do the same thing down the back. Who cares what it looks like back there? An example, my sister, the blonde is at the front here and then she's brunette at the back. <laughs> Good morning guys, so it's the next day now and I thought I'll show you guys what my hair looks like when I take out these roller things that I had on last night. So I already took off the ones I had on the bottom but they didn't come out as nice because I didn't really roll it in as tight. This one came out a little bit nicer, it's a little bit more like spirally but it was actually quite comfortable in these last night, I'm not gonna lie, I thought they would be a lot more annoying. But I even slept on it as well and it was actually fine. Okay, so I'm gonna take out this side first. I also used a clip onto it yesterday so it can really like stay in because otherwise I know they will literally be like here when I wake up, you know, so you just pull them a bit straight and then Unravel them. I don't think I rolled these right because they're meant to be like this and I lifted I feel like I need to get a bigger size to this because I feel like my hair is like so long It'd be nice of a looser wave, you know, okay So this is what this side looks like I think it looks a little bit better and this side I could just literally run over a curling iron just to like flip the front bit over But as long as there's some sort of wave, I think it's cute. Okay guys, so your girl's finally in the car I've got my makeup on. I'm actually wearing contacts today. I haven't worn contacts for so long These are Desio creamy beige contacts and they're actually so comfy as well. My outfit is from in the style which is super cute i have the new body lava in trophy wife on my legs right now and it's so nice and glossy <laughs> these are the shoes i'm rocking tonight these are from house of cb so i felt like when i was getting ready today i had like four hours or something and i was just filming so many instagram videos and then watching her time just went by so i'm heading off to shoreditch today with my nas family i feel like i haven't seen them in ages since i went to dubai with them i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog tonight because every time i'm with my friends i always forget to vlog but i'm sure i've got a little plus one here so he'll be able to get some snippets for you guys so hope you guys enjoy you know it's way too late days i literally haven't even moisturized yet i literally just brushed my teeth and i was like let me start the vlog because i literally have an hour and a half to get ready today i'm heading down to the makeup by mario Masterclass. i've never been before but i am super excited to hopefully learn some tips to share with you guys as well okay so i'm finally in the car now your girl had to get ready so quickly i was trying to film loads while i was doing my makeup and stuff but honestly it was all going wrong i couldn't find my perfect foundation so yesterday me and grant got in the most biggest argument
argument ever so i'm not feeling really in the mood today my face is like so puffy my eyes have bags for days i have met makeup by mario before when i was in paris with laurel mercier but i haven't watched any of his mask classes before so i'm really excited i'm like the worst when it comes to like classroom environments i'm such a gemini i get so fixated at the start and then afterwards my attention span is like my outfit today is actually really snazzy i'm actually wearing heels today guys like who is this but you know the flats had to come out as well you know just in case so my jacket is from house of cb my top is from windsor and i'm just wearing some white jeans which i'm so scared i'm gonna get stained and then i have some boots these are from ego official but i've got like a half an hour journey now so i'll catch up with you guys when i'm at the master class oh i got a booklet guys this is a nice booklet oh come on mario go on girl do your thing we got ling here in those sexy kinky boots oh, yeah. hey, we've both got the heels on today <laughs> i'm on the second row Way. how exclusive okay guys so i just met so many amazing followers just so sweet they asked me to take photos but literally it's like security guards everywhere they're like you need to sit down so i feel like i'm gonna get arrested here i'm gonna enjoy the mask class now we have two hours and then it cuts to a break i'll let you guys know if i found some good gems you know i'll spill all the tea okay Okay guys, look who I'm with. This is my friend Archer. We've been friends for like years and years and years. Since That's the Mac right. days. Since the Mac days, we've got way back. <laughs> it's quite cool that we're both at the mask class today, especially because we're both makeup artists as well. Yeah. But the mask class is really good so far. How are you it enjoying is. it? Yeah, it's good. It's just that like, there's a lot of things we already know. For some people, if you're a beginner, I think this is amazing. Yeah, like, if you're a beginner, the goodie bag left it will be so yeah. worth it for Oh my you. god, 100%. And even the tips for a beginner yeah. is like, yeah. I really want to ask questions, but I'm too shy. Same, at the I'm moment. too scared to shout. I want to ask a question. What if you want someone to look more tan? Do you know what I mean? Because mm. a lot of times, like my neck, like when I tan, my face yes. is all tan. I want to know, you know, in general, working with darker skin, warm skin, because he's got a Caucasian model. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. I said Caucasian. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Politically correct. Okay, so we're going to chill out and watch the rest of the masterclass. We're going to watch highlight and contouring now. Yep. So it should be good. This is the bit I'm looking the Same. most forward to. Me too. So it should be good. So I've been such a bad vlogger guys, it's been a couple of days now since the Makeup by Mario Mask class and my life has just been honestly a whirlwind of craziness. So I wanted to show you guys what products I got inside the Makeup by Mario Master class. It is such a freaking huge bag, okay? Literally this bag, oh my god, it's so heavy. But they have some good stuff in here, you know, I'm not gonna lie. They've got Elemis in here, there's Elizabeth Arden, there's some glow sleeping stuff, loads of stuff from Morphe, there's Anastasia Beverly Hills in here as well. It is a very kitted up goodie bag. So I think it is really, really worth it because if you haven't got a lot of goodies already, the stuff that's in here is literally like goals. Heaven right now, you got a soft glam palette in here, you got some Cartier Beauty, Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, some of the stuff is like, oh, never heard of that brand, but you do get stuff like Tatcha, which you can't even get in the UK. I haven't even gone through this whole bag yet, but there's some really cool stuff that I've seen so far. On the other hand, I have all of this to go through right now, guys. Why is my life like this? But I'm gonna get ready to film a pack with me video now. My sister's gonna come over and help me do that. If you guys like the little QA with my sister, make sure you subscribe because next week I'm gonna be uploading a little video with me and her, a full on mukbang as well. We're literally talking about all your common asked questions about surgery, our thoughts on men, all that juicy tea stuff. So make sure you subscribe for that. Also, this week I am actually in Mexico while you guys are watching this. So I'm only gonna be uploading one video a week, unfortunately. <laughs> I hate it when my schedule slaps behind when I'm traveling. But literally my life got so crazy and I wasn't able to edit six videos for you guys ready on time for my holiday. I'm so sorry about that. But we will be up on our regular programming soon. Make sure you're following me on all my other social media platforms so you know exactly what I'm up to in Mexico, living my life up here. <laughs> I'm also going to be filming a pack with me video as well because my room is a freaking mess. As always, hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You could be in the bloopers. Say something. Oh my god, look how regal you look. Don't you guys think he looks like Pinky in the brain? You got a big old brain up in here. Sexy. Everything about me so sexy. Oh. Please do not tell me. I done the whole video with this onion in my tooth, bitch. You didn't tell me. What onion? Oh my god. <laughs> this bitch says she doesn't get jealous. She wants me to fail. Your camouflage and your yellow teeth. <laughs> <laughs>